So now if we go back to our design, the only elements we really have left are images of some kind. So we have the logo, we have the pictures of these two people, and we have this background image here. Now there's a reason why we've come this far without having converted any of our images yet. That's because images are actually rather complicated beasts. It's easy to add an image tag, We've done that already in our site in order to embed our design snippets so we have a reference for our code. But what's hard is doing images in a way so that they work right in every situation. So I think it will help to have an image to work with so we can explain the implications. So here I am in Photoshop and I'm gonna go to the layered version of the project. And what I'm gonna do is create an image from this logo here. So I'm going to select it, I'll copy it, create a new file that has a transparent background and I'll paste it in. Now the reason I'm doing this is because we want this logo to appear the right color regardless of what the background color is. In some cases, it doesn't matter what the background is because we have a square image, for example, but when we have something that has some transparency around the text or within the images, we'll want to reflect that in our image file. Now here in Photoshop, when we go to save, we can check save for the web and it gives us some information about the image that we're about to save. Now, if we want transparency in our image, and you can tell what's transparent because it has that checkered background, our only real option, if we're going to have a bitmap image, that is an image with pixels, which is the most common, is a ping. So you see up here we have the option for saving a GIF, a JPEG, a ping 8, or a ping 24. The ping 24 is the one that has an alpha layer. Unfortunately, it's also the one that has the largest file size. For an image like this, it's not that big of a deal. You can see a preview of how big it's going to be right here. So it's less than four kilobytes, which is really nothing for an image, especially not one as important as the logo. So we'll save this as a ping file. And this is the first image that we're saving, not as a design snippet. So we'll go back to the root directory of our site and let's create a new folder called images. And let's save this file as logo.png. 